Okay, it's now 10.55, and we're on our way to stop someone from being executed on death row. <laughs> I went to try and rescue prisoner D99. Even under ordinary circumstances, that prison has a strange atmosphere. But this time, there's something even stranger about it. Uh, oh, they're preparing something? Oh, did they swap places? They did. An execution. With my memory gone, I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head. Because you don't even have, don't even know anything, literally at this point. You don't even know, goddamn, every single thing. Microscope. Do you even know what food is, sir? Do you even know what food is? But even I can sense the strong feeling of foreboding that hangs in the air. Maybe I'm too late. You could just, I'm, uh, back in time, uh, in, uh, his body, right? Oh, it's our extra prison break? So what is it go- how is it going? The generator, in the basement! Uh, did he even- he didn't, he didn't even move. I'm trying to fix it now. It's gonna take a while, they said. I haven't even gotten the internal phone there back up yet. Oh. Oh, they didn't even get the phone worked up yet. Okay, we can't even get further into the prison then. Hmm. I don't even know where we can go from here, actually speaking. We only went to the present cells. We don't know anywhere where the, I guess, uh, I guess the execution chamber would be. I just hope the rowdies don't rush the, the guard room. The rowdies? You're, you're getting pretty rowdy there yourself. Uh, we don't have any rowdies here. Once more, the one who committed the most atrocious crime isn't even here anymore at all. Oh, did he actually? Oh, he broke out of prison. You promised not to talk about that! Well, he did. So, um, uh, you wanted to open communication with your buddy old pal, co-worker here? Well, he's trying to, and now you're rejecting him. It's- what do you want him to do now? And why are you doing a dance? Look, would you knock it off without weird flipping and flopping around? I can't stand looking at it. If you don't stop, I just might have to pound you. TASER! This- this is a glorious dance that's been passed down in my family for generations! Well, you don't know what else to do. Dance, dance, dance. Uh, uh, okay, we call it the panic dance. Well, I mean, can you get something more happier dance then? <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. This is the special detention calling from the death chamber. The eternal phone is finally back up. Okay. It's pitch black down here though, until they get the generator going again. Hmm. How's it going up there? Well, the phone's been ringing off the hook from headquarters. Oh boy, we can't let the exist in this prison become known to the outside world. With a round of the prisoners somehow. Is Bailey dancing? Yes. Yes, he is. Yep, you should see him. <laughs> Take a video of it. We can all watch it together when we're done. Once the generator's back up, I'll record with the security camera. <laughs> were you talking about recording my dance? Oh yeah. Just put on the put on the interwebs, honestly. Janitor, stone it up. I can't keep this up much longer. Well, keep dancing till you then fall from exhaustion. Then, God, or you just stop. That's the next best thing. Believe me, nobody is asking you to. Why don't you just stop? Will you dance instead? Then, me? You kidding me? Somebody has to do it. Wait, why? It, this is me, me. Oh my God. Okay, why? As somebody is me, I'll keep dancing until I drop. Just don't make a new mass hysteria right here in the prison. Good, 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 good God. Good God. <laughs> Despite how it looks, this situation seems pretty serious. Bailey's dance is uh, certainly intriguing. The telephone call that came in that came in is even more interesting. Man City's calling for the death chamber, huh? Not the extension number. I should go check it out. Yeah. Well, oh, oh we can't even go there then. Yeah, we can't we can't really go anywhere. I thought we can like hook onto the keys there. Because we can go all the way to the death chamber then external line it said. Not there. Okay, we either go into a uh, you just you brought the extension line though, so the external line anyway, so special detention from the special rowdy little students. <laughs> So who is that guy now? Like, he's being completely, like, they're both, like, being shut up completely, and oh, well, there, yep, look, well, he's dead. That explains that. <laughs> hmm. Everyone's in complete darkness. So this is the death chamber, huh? What's going on? I can't see anything. This is what they call 
darkness? I swear to God, do you not know what darkness and shadows are? Do I have to go down and- Do we have to buy a ghost dictionary for you? I swear to God. We just think about the situation. Hmm. Okay, so there's nothing up there. Is that- Oh. Oh, well, there's that guy. Oh, the death chamber is actually right above. Okay. Why he stopped then, though? Up there. Hmm. Okay, where are we from here? Oh. Right next to here. Yes, darkness does certainly exist in the ghost world. Yes, your ghost vision. Oh, they're actually repairing the, the I guess, the execution of the death chair. Without light, I could still see what's going on. I can use the ghost world to help me find the generator. What's this one? A lever. Which one goes to the, the power supply? Manipulate that? This appears to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. Mm, this doesn't mean responding. It's too dark to really tell, though. I guess the first thing I need to do is restore the generator. Hmm. What's going on here, my dude? <laughs> oh, j oh, geez. Where did the wrench go? Thought I can't tighten the last bolt in the generator. Sure, wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Or like a ghost. Or like a poltergeist. Some vengeful spirit, you know. Uh, right here. We just need to get somehow and put light in there. I've seen these things before. Some kind of tool for turning things. Stop. <laughs> Seeing it's up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if we'll notice. Damn, it's too heavy. It won't budge. Hmm. Okay, so we literally just need to somehow turn the light for it on. Also, hello. Are you having a good time here? You're just exhausted sleeping here? Okay. The big guy seems to be taking a nap here. Tell my poultry powers are not to wake him. Rest in peace, curry lover. Hmm, it's kind of spooky when a ghost says it. <laughs> Well, it all connects up to there. Hmm. Well, why is he have tomato paste right there? Why is... Actually, well, everyone's actually gone. Oh. Well, I guess that means they're going to find out that he's missing and I'm going to call, like, call for someone, right? Well, well you're on your own, buddy. <laughs> it's a power distributor. Can't turn that on. Hmm. Okay, so the light. I can't go over that way, so... Can we press, like, pull this lever down? No. We need a generator on, actually, then to do that, won't we? Hmm. Why don't we go from here, then? Emergency light. Hmm. How do we get around, then? There's nowhere to go around from here. So there's something around here then. Hmm. You mean you see something around here? Okay, H. This is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I feel like a ghost is gonna show up any minute now. Oh, they're already here. They've been here for five minutes. Hey, come on, show some respect. There's a dead man here. That's right. Me. Oh, I never saw that one coming, did you? Who could have? Anyway, the generator's gonna be fixed soon, so I guess we hang tight. Hmm. Interesting. Generator, huh? Once that's restored, this darkness will be gone. Since that's the first thing that has to be done. Yeah, but how do we get around to there? Do we need to go back up, like, and see around um, a different phone line? Or go back to um, uh, the guard station to look for things? Like, maybe to go to upper row of uh, cells? Hmm. And just see anything happening here. Hmm. Well, I wonder what in the world happened here. To look for just a jod. Should I try to do something with the situation first? Hmm. Well, can't we just go to that phone down there as well? Hmm. There's nothing over there to look at anyway. We just pr <laughs> we've pr put the emergency button on. Go. I'm not set up the emergency alarm right now. This in my head is already a state cri emergency as it is. A state of crisis. Okay. Why can't we go down to that one? Nothing around to go and handle things here. Yeah, we, we can't do anything here. Okay, so dial down the lower row. Hmm. Yeah, we can't get closer to him, uh, I'm a curry guy down there. Well, as I'm, uh, huh, there's tomato paste and, like, some, like, what's that bottle here from before? That painting's actually gone, too, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing up here either. So I must be missing something from special detention then, right? Oh wait, there was a phone line to um uh Yeah, there's a line going down there then. To the other end of the side, all the way down there. Where's another phone line? Yeah, there's a phone going to that room then. To there. Okay. Hmm. So I just need to find somewhere to head from here. Phone just goes to there. Was there actually another option? Only just those few, actually. Hmm. Okay. Does it do anything? How do you make this guy f like a must see it? Wait, what's that? Oh, are you kidding me? Water drop? Are you? Oh, I, I, that never. Oh, it only appeared randomly. God, good God. Okay, fine. Well, that explains that. I didn't think you can like s stay still with them with water drops. Literally, gosh dang it. The one bolt is enough to get the generator running. The one bolt. There, done. What kind of generator is this thing? Well, there you go. All we need to drop was an oil can from a goddamn water dropping thing. Oh. Oh, was there? Well, that's kind of a stupid. Why would you have your like your generator tied to um, uh, the large gates then? Well, that means um, there was a giant prison break, and um, uh, the one person who was trying to break out um, uh, couldn't break out because he wasn't there for the time. <laughs> no, the lights are on, back on. What happened here? Man's are still shrouded in darkness. I'm uh, then I'm uh, go into the light then and see what actually happened then. Eh. I'm gonna see if I can pick up some more information. Guess this this bad thing I got. Hmm. Okay, how do we get around here? Okay, we need to get to that spinny thingy. Okay. Then just go all the way back to um uh, the water droplets. Like still. How's this to figure out you could like possess water then? Eh. Let me get around to here. Hmm. Oh, something really bad happened in this room. Like, uh, did the thing just, like, it looks like just uh, the arm of the chair broke. Was there an explosion here or something? Hmm. Wait, so, like, wait, it doesn't make any sense, then. If they want to make sure, if, if like, um, uh, it was planned to kill Jada Jod, why would even do that? Because they were going to be on death row anyway. Well, this is some weird thing of, um, uh, they, they want to be the people to, to kill the Jod instead of, them um, the prison. Hmm. Oh, something really bad happened in this room. Hmm. So this is some kind of explosion here or something. And it looks like... The center explosion was that thing. That chair. Hmm. Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country is a death penalty. How many years has it been since we used this chair? Yeah, I don't know. I had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. Uh, give it a clean shine then before you actually use it then. If that's what happened, I'll have to breathe damage the wiring. Well, I think it was divine retribution. Don't be stupid. I mean, if I'm, uh, if like if Jod is still dead, then I'm, uh, it kind of did its job anyway. <laughs> don't be stupid. The prisoner wanted to be executed, you know. Yeah, I don't know why he would anyway. Well, yeah, that's literally him. Yeah. Well, it's kind of obvious. But a Jod, I guess it was too late. Well, you can just go in and possess him in the past and see that how to save him. That's literally how it is. So when are they going to pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. Do we hand over the body and clean up the mortuary? We're done. Yeah, okay. Hmm. How do we get closer to his body than from here, though? Fall along with one of these lads? Hmm. So Jod has already been executed. Unless there was a reason for that bad feeling I was getting. <laughs> that your bad feeling was, I can sense there's no ghost about to, to appear in our midst. <laughs> That's okay, this isn't a big problem. For me. The body is taken from the mortuary, that'd be bad. He's my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. Okay. Okay, so we can use the letter for here right now? Hmm. What does it even go to, actually? I sure have misgivings when I tried this lever. Nothing happened. Kind of disappointing, really. This thing else has to be done first. I mean, uh, it's connected to him uh, that. Oh, it's connected to the power supply here, so manipulate that from here. Through some control panel, I might be able to operate it. I'll give it a try. Oh. 
Well, there you go. Some lamps came on. Not sure what that means. Let me change the situation, though. Uh, are we gonna accidentally kill these guards? <laughs> Pull lever. Go. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I just got a shock. Okay, I'm uh, getting to ranch. <laughs> we were this close to killing him. This close. <laughs> okay. How do we get to the other side, then? Hmm. We could get up there if we so needed. Oh, wait, no, we need to wait for the water droplets to come up so we can get to that, that, lamp, that lamp for some reason, then, I assume? Maybe? Maybe? Hmm, nothing. Oh, rocket! We. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> Thank you for your service. Okay, then rock the cart. We... <laughs> God. And then we can, like, we can possess this phone now and make our way back through. Hmm. Same thing here. Let's listen to the internal phone, too. It doesn't call outside. Well, yeah, every single place in this goddamn prison is internal call, so don't worry about it. We had to speed... The speed travel to the, the guard room, then into the prison. It's literally how it is so far, okay? The place I can go with this telephone are other phones in the building that I've already possessed. Hmm. Okay. It's a flower vase. Now, I'm, uh, what happened to you? Hey, can you hear me? No, he's still unconscious. How long has it been? Oh! It's been that while, actually. I thought we came here at 1055. That... He died before his execution started then. Oh. Oh. Where am I? This is the ghost world. The land of the dead, Detective Jod. Detective Jod? What was that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you too. This is getting old. Not to me. Okay, so I'll just give you the usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh. So I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. I don't want to remember my past, please. I'm not yet. Huh? I don't like a messy room, but I hate cleaning up even more. Now that my memory is a welcome thing, and I don't have as much trash to take out. Memories are like trash. I mean, if I'm either too unpleasant, then why keep them around to throw them out? I guess is what you're thinking and, and trying to say. Now that I'm dead, what do I need with memories? And things I don't need are just trash. Not to me. I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lynn I'd try to stop your execution. Lynn? Hmm. It looks like I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. Man, that's harsh. Hello. Well, at least that was- Okay, so that was the thing that got your memory going. So, Lynn was, the, I guess, the catalyst then. I remember now. But Lin and John, the execution. Again, I'll, I'll say again. He has a, a powerful um, uh, side profile. <laughs> what about you? Who are you? I'm just your friendly, your friendly neighborhood ghost. <laughs> I'm Sissel. Looking for my memory, or trash as you call it. Sissel. Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry, must not have been a very big piece of trash to me. That's alright. I guess you'll find out when you get your memory back. And for now, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes to your execution. Hmm. We're gonna get closer and slightly like, after we save you, I guess, and I'm uh let's break you we can, can we can break him out of prison. Can we break him out of prison? Please break him out. Prison break! Prison break! Prison break! Eh, <laughs> uh, so what happened here then? Ah, he came from up uh, the cell block. This is the past? Four minutes before my my death? Yes, yeah, so my ghostly powers are my are weird, strange business. Okay, don't go, don't get overwhelmed. That's right. You'll get used, you'll get to see your own execution from the past. Wow, we Jelly G Willikers. I always wanted to see how I would die from from a third perspective. And then we're gonna change your fate. But first, can I ask you a question? Lynn told, you, didn't she? About what I did. Yeah, she did. Then is it really the right thing to do to save a guy like me? I don't know. And Lynn believes it is. Okay, let's get started. Ah, oh, so it's a leaf from uh, when you were um, uh, still eating your chicken. From the chicken kitchen, is it? Hmm. 
Oh, what? Oh. Okay, I was gonna say let's do the same thing. Okay. It's clogged. I'm in position. Okay. Well, that paper's in the way now. Okay, he's stuck down there forever. Hmm. But did they, is they actually planning to um, uh, kill him preemptively? Hmm. At least, I, uh, hopefully, those good chicken. Well, yeah, you. I saw that. Why'd you move it there, actually? Hmm. So the trash can's full. D okay. What's going on in here? Oh, it's like, are they really hang down to there then? Or the time's finally here, huh? Wonder how many years it's been. Last time you weren't even here yet. Never thought I had to attend an execution, but you know. I wonder why the Justice Minister suddenly signed the order. There's definitely something up with that. Oh, did Lin oh, Lynn actually got, oh, Lynn actually got some time to do that. Oh, come on, just let's just focus on her work. Yeah, all right. Wait, like, was the... Did he actually get into it in time, or...? Ro robotically go down the stairs now. Hmm. Prisoner D-99, it's time. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. All right, man. I'm ready. Sorry I had to go through this unpleasant experience. What? No, we, uh... Oh, well, I guess it's all about completing experiences for you and for me. Yes, let's see, um, uh, let's, we can never get, um, uh, we can never get used to and get over them by the fact we kill someone every single time this electric chair. Uh. Hmm. We, we couldn't really see, I guess, the, I guess, the digging prisoner then. Hmm. Prepare to test. Throw the switch. Oh. So it just broke, like, that in the first test and try. Oh. It killed him right then and there, okay. So this is an execution, huh? It's the newest fangled amount of technology you were always speaking about. <laughs> At least it didn't die. Well, it, it, he still technically died from the chair, just in, uh, not in the way anyone intended, so. Because <laughs> maybe there's got to be a safer way to do it. <laughs> Must be nice to have no memory like that. Makes things more interesting. I envy you. I really do. It's no laughing matter to me. <laughs> that was an example of a failed execution, although the outcome itself was the same. Failed? They haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some mothballs and I guess had a short. Yeah, I can see that, honestly. So I guess it means that if I can stop the explosion... Hmm, I don't know about that. Not just be executed as planned, I'd still end up, wind up just as dead. Yeah, so how can we make sure, like, you get out of the room when the explosion happened, then? Because it's probably, the, like, this is the best way to actually make you make sure you do it, then. If we get you out of the room, and um, uh, then the explosion happens, then they realize um, it's broken, and they can't really use that method. So then they have to do something else, and they have to prolong it some more. A lot long enough for, like, Lynn to have that sign, you know, thing for the you know, minister. So what should I do? Beats me. Uh, you're not help here, dude. I know you want to die so badly, but I'm not uh, still. People actually want you to stay alive, so I'm, uh, come on. You're the one who came to save me. You figure it out. You're just gonna be here, just give him a snide commentary of like, oh, you want to save me this badly? Okay, fine. Really? He's not making this easy. He really just wants to die for some reason. Hmm. Okay, so it's from here. What can we do from here, then? All right, then. All right, then. Four minutes from now. The chair will short down and explode, then you'll die. Okay, the guard is already picked in the phone. That's from up there, so we can make our way from up to the top upper rows of the cells and turn to make our way deck down. Hmm. Very sad. Doesn't sound like you're sad. That's not the explosion. You'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever born. Don't you fucking no! I literally just went finished like the end the the, the fat the last like <laughs> I finished the the fifth installment of Higurashi. I don't want to hear that line again now, please. <laughs> now to protect you from the explosions of the execution. The key to the whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for all your trouble. Stop it! Stop apologizing! Uh, could you stop with that insincere comments? 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you. Flower pot. Okay. We just head all the way up there then. Oh, okay. No, we the Oh, we're from up here then. Oh, gosh. Oh, then we have to wait till the phone call comes on the other end when they come further up. The paper that was collecting the toilet. Do we have to do something with that? Do we make sure the. Hmm. We make sure the prisoner who's digging, like making the escape route, I'm, uh. We make sure to warn him at some point, actually. And actually, why didn't that napkin that I'm, uh. The. Uh, that Jod, like, flushed down did not, like, make any sound to it either, to them. Hmm. How's it going down there? Hi there, little Bailey. Literal Bailey. We just finished setting up the chair. We're all prepared. I see. This time, please bring in the prisoner. But that chair has been used in a long time. What if... Bailey, there's nothing we can do. It's time. Hmm. All right, let's send the guards to a cell. I'll have them call when they get into position. Okay. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, no. No, we'll stay here. Let's wait for the other phone call to come actually come. Because, like, even when we're in... Unless he makes memos there, we literally can't do anything. We literally just have to wait for it to happen. He's literally just unconscious. Okay. There we go. Yep, they're up here now. Okay. I'm in position. The other two are coming to bring the prisoner to you now. Got it. Now go there. Going through the phone lines in the lickety split. In the past. Okay, the paper's right there, so we can probably get to from there. The keys and the ring, the toilet, and the paper. Open up the note. Oh, wait, it's stuck on a nail or something? All right, my jam grew to the clog. Now get, up, now get down there to Sausage Head. Go, go, go! <laughs> okay, good. All right, then. What, didn't you, 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 you hear it? Okay, well... Wait, that, like, a hug? But what about this napkin, though? Hmm. Hmm. Did that napkin that he just flushed down the toilet actually not do anything? Hmm. And again, what is up with that goddamn machine right there? The present world, four minutes of the future. Hudge Head was lying past in the tunnel. Not knowing about the execution, he must have kept digging and digging. And the guards had noticed he was gone. I guess Curry Man's future has now changed a bit. Huh. So that's something to keep in mind, but like, um, uh, just him being here is enough to um, uh, change things a tiny bit then? Okay. We can't we can't reach to him, uh, the bell though, so, hmm. Sissel? I'm sure you know this, but time is ticking. Uh, not technically time is not ticking, it's actually dropping like sand if you know your hourglass imagery, so yeah. It's time for execution. You know, if you don't execute a plan pretty soon, it's gonna get tough. God damn it. I think I do have a plan. Well then, execute it properly then. Do you? Looking forward to seeing it then. Only problem is, I don't see a path to get there yet. I'm really sorry about all the trouble you're going to me for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry. Okay then. You don't even know who Sissel is this out of it. At least I'm, uh, you only have a vague recollection of him, so I'm, uh, I don't understand why you're being like this. What? Oh, that's actually how you get out of bed. Okay. Okay, the second he gets over. Yeah, lick the spoon, the, uh, the dirt, lick the dirt off the spoon. Okay, stand the spoon. And then, just wait for him to throw it back. I'm pretty sure the prisoner, like the guards actually are up there looking. Okay, now we just make our way to the other side. Hmm. The napkin's on there. Hmm. We just stay in the napkin as he flushes it down. God damn it. Okay, what's going on here? <sighs> you sure can pack it away. Like, literally, even though like they're not blood related at all, Lynn can do the same thing. So um, uh, literally, there's a lot of people can like, either fill, okay? The detective should eat until he reaches that critical moment. What critical moment is that? That's what I always say. And you have a young pupil that follows that advice to the letter. What are you gonna do now, Cecil? As long as these iron bars are here, escape is impossible. Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. Looking for a path now. This thing here will give me an idea. Well, just some, uh, fall along with napkin. Just wait till he's done. Like, yeah, it's already, like, going down. Just a few more bites. 
there we go. Makes it interesting we, um, uh, we actually um, uh, got to their side then. I did go into this like cell before. I'm like there's, he just moved the t like the can right here. Hmm. He just left the bottle and the tomato paste there. This thing is full as I am. Okay, then we just go down and fall through into the toiletries. We. <laughs> I got caught there. Time is passing. Hmm. Oh, that actually, I'm, uh, hmm. Hmm. How can you go from here? How can we do, like, a little test, though? Oh, we the... Oh! Oh, I see. The fact it's up here. Oh, we literally had to make the bell go... We had to ring the bell and then do that. Oh, that is actually kind of cool and ingenious. Okay. Well, that means we just have to, like, wait... Okay, the very second he puts the... Puts an over the trash cans when we make our way all the way back and make it ring. And that is not the, the true thing to do. Okay, so let's get to, let's get back to that. Wait, no, we can't do that from there. Oh, I'm stupid. Can we even do anything from here? Because I'm uh, we can't make our way back. Can we just actually wait for it to come? We can honestly just wait for the napkin to come and fall through, right? Hmm. Well, we can't go to the next room, so we're not going to ever see what's actually over there then. Hmm. We even have time to look through it? Hmm. Yeah, this is the best way you can look from both ends. But we can't get back to the bell from this side to here. So what can we do then? Do we have to actually um, uh, somehow? Well, no. If we actually try to empty the waste ba waste basket like this, then we can't. Hmm. Huh. That changed things a tiny bit, but hmm. You see that? The huge can just went up flying into the air. Oh, he put the napkin above right there. Oh. Yeah, that's my ketchup can. Ketchup can. Did you get a bottle opener or a can opener for it? Ketchup. I just love ketchup. Can't get enough of that stuff. Probably have ketchup running through my veins. That's called blood, sir. Just can't see muster laugh over that one. Did make kind of a red O mark. Hmm. Well, that's exactly where the napkin went. Is actually that's exactly pro precisely where I'm assuming. Oh, it went and made the circle on it. Oh, that's how we do it. Oh, I was right, but I'm, uh, I, I was too quick in the draw for it. Now we can do the fate change. We're going to make our way back to her. We'll be right back there. It wouldn't make much sense if we could, like, um, uh, it'd be actually cool if we somehow focus on timing of, like, when he flushes the toilet down the drain, the napkin down the drain, and, um, uh, it goes all the way further down. Like, I guess more towards the sewer, and then, I guess. But, like, that probably when it's get closer down to the lower floor then, right? There was definitely no tank, it, like, water tank down there to reach there, so... Just fall into the spoon. Then wait until he gets the napkin settled. Then literally just tomato paste it onto the napkin. <laughs> so, let's go. Whee! There you go. Okay. So, the second he puts it over, yes. Yes! There we go. Perfectly. Perfect circle. And since he now like will interpret it as a, the circle from uh from the the rock star guy, then I'm uh he'll then start digging down there and we get closer there. The spoon actually goes onto the second path really quickly. Yes, follow along, my brother Ren. Yes, good go. The guards actually didn't even notice that he went missing too, so this is actually kind of perfect. Yes, look at the dirt off that spoon. It's like tasty chocolate ice cream now. <laughs> Okay, then we just go and fall along into the spoon. Okay, spoon. Spoon. Okay, he sees it. Good. There we are. Solid head sure looks happy. Uh, yes. So now that he's seen the zero paper, we'll go down to the, the tunnel to dig. We have the chance I've been waiting for. The guards must be kind of bad if they don't even notice that he's gone. <laughs> okay. Yep, they're up there. Literally exactly the right time. Okay. 
we're actually heading towards closer up there then. Hmm. Here come my escorts. Uh oh, I haven't found my path yet. I see mine quite clearly. Path to the chair that is. Okay. What do I do? Uh, we're down here. We can get down here and like somehow make sure to remember the power from before. Let's see. Now we can go down to the second floor, the third floor. We can manipulate the power here. Yes. This piece of some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. And it gets. Oh, they're, they're locked? <gasps> no, we pull a lever! I guess I can operate right now. Until death. Uh, like, did they already get down to the second thing? No, um, uh. Uh, no, pull a lever right now. There we go. Sorry, I'm on the chair. I'm on. It's. It's kind of inoperable right now. What just happened? Nothing. The power's down through the whole facility. No way. The power's out down. That means all the cell bars are put automatically. Damn it, the internal phones aren't working either. State of emergency. State of emergency. State of emergency. Now the execution can be carried out and your life is saved. Whee. That's cool, though. You're a pretty daring guy. I really enjoyed myself. I think I learned a, less, a thing or two as well. And what was that? Please, tell us in all your infinite glory. W about what? By the way, is it true what the guard said? The cell bars open automatically? And if it's true, it's a little drawback to the system. That's actually kind of funny now, if, like, that I'm... <laughs> that guy is never gonna escape, even though he tries to, because he's just trying to escape. He'll never actually will because of that. God damn it. That's, that's funny, though. That's really funny. It's true, it's a little drawback to the system. The entire facility blacks out, the locks are released for the prisoner's safety. But nobody thought it would actually ever happen. Uh, maybe they should change that little system. So in the other words, now's the time to escape, you're gonna. That's <laughs> not gonna happen for that guy. Anyway, we managed to start the execution. Let's get back to the present. You're still not out of the woods yet, though. Oh, let me give you one piece of advice. What's that? Don't save me. Too bad. When we get to the back to the present, head for the spoon. Spoon, huh? You'll see when we get back, Cecil. The spoon. Okay. So go back to the spoon up there then? Oh, all right then. Now the execution can't be carried out. Now the jaw is safe for the moment. A new present has been born. Uh, yes, I love gifts. However, the jaw still isn't safe from execution, of course. I guess I still have a job to do. How about death row inmate escape from prison? Yeah, okay, we have a way to help him escape from here then. Okay then. So guess what? Next episode is prison break! It's goddamn prison break time! God damn it! Yes, finally! Yes! Good! Good! Oh boy! Okay, so we make our way to the spoon from that guard, like the sausage head guy, like guy and I'm uh, help him go throughout then through the entire wings of the prison. Then that'd be intriguing. Oh, that'd be really cool to see, honestly. And then going from there, huh? I guess we just find a way from uh Lin and and I'm, uh, Jod to meet up then. And po we haven't even seen Camila and Missile yet either. They're gonna come at the very end. And actually, I just thought of this. What are the very last I'm um, uh. I guess final, I guess I'm a ghost trick area is really trying to make sure that every single person we've actually managed to talk to, like, you know, Missile, John, and Lynn, they all get caught up in like one final death thing. And in order to save them all, we actually have to sort of coax them through and like lead them around at different places. Like, we're already, like, Lynn's already like catching on of like, um, uh, we can have her like move things, like, like, um, uh, that Sissel's there around. So why not have a final mission be for Lynn, um, uh, they know that Emma uh, Sizzle's there trying to help everyone and save her, fr save from being dead and all that, especially since they can't talk in the past anyway, like that. So that means Emma, um, uh, that'd be so cool to see as a final mission. That honestly would be that'd be really cool and actually really tense. Oh, I hope that I kind of hope that actually is. But for next time, we'll go in, get to the spoon for how like how that's ever gonna help. I guess we'll see how that goes and to help Detective Jod escape from prison. I guess we'll see how that transpires for next time. So, hope you're fun time watches as I am playing this. Hope you see you next time, what time that may be. And I y'all hope you fantastic day.